Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to customize the sound that your default mail client on the Mac makes when it sends out messages. You're going to need a few things to get this done and I have them here. First I have a sound that's a typewriter's mp3 sound. This is the same sound that it's on your uh, iPhone and um, I want to use this as an outgoing so I'm going to show you how to customize that sound. First we need to convert that sound into an AIFF file which is really important. Okay, so I have the link to a free converter site that will convert the, the sound for you and save it back to your computer with that format. So I'm going to show you the first steps we're going to do. The first step is going to the C drive or the main drive of your Mac. Here you're going to find all the files. The one we want is the file called applications. When you open that up, you're going to see an icon there called mail. That's the mail application and that's the default mail client. You're going to right click on that icon and you're going to choose to show package contents. Once it shows you the files, you're going to go to a folder called contents and look in here for a folder named resources. All the contents that are like images and sounds are in this folder for the mail client. The one we're looking for is the mail sent.aiff file. That's the one that contains the sound. It has a swoosh sound that it makes um, when you send mail out. And this is the one we want to customize. The sound that this makes sounds something like this. And so we're going to customize this sound. The uh, typewriter sound that I have sounds a little different. I'm going to show you in a second. I'm going to minimize this real quick just to show you the sound of the typewriters. And this sounds this way. So we're going to go ahead and customize and replace the one, the uh, swoosh for the typewriter. The first thing I want to do is I want to copy this name. So I have the exact name of how it is and we're going to rename this to old. Okay. So I'm going to rename it to old. It's going to ask you for your uh, password. Go ahead and put that in and then I'm going to go ahead and click on name itself so I can save it. I'm going to save the name so that I can use it and I just copy and paste it to rename the new file. So I'm ready to go now. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fire up the uh, online AIFF converter site. When uh, you open this site up, you're going to see that uh, a place where you can choose the file to upload it. And um, I will put on aramistech.com uh, the links to the site so you have it. So you have the, uh, the, the full URL and you can just click on it and, and do your thing. So here first we're going to choose the file. And I'm going to go to the desktop and look for the typewriter's mp3. So I'm going to choose that. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the bit rate of the uh, sound itself to 160. Once I change the bit rate, I'm ready to go. So I'm going to put convert file and it's going to save it. And you're going to see it's going to do a little thing and it's going to save it to your downloads folder. So now it's saved to the downloads folder. I'm ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and go to that sound so I can uh, customize the name on it and finish it up. I'm going to drag it from the downloads folder to the desktop. So I have it ready to go and so I can work with that. And I'm just going to right click here and paste the name and change it to mailsent.aiff. So I have the name correctly. And I'm going to go ahead and close this out. We're going to go back to that folder where the resources are. And we're going to drag uh, the, um, the mail sent, uh, the new one we got, the typewriter one, into here. And it's going to ask you to authenticate and put your password again. So go ahead and do that. Click OK. Now you have the new sound in here and you have the original sound in there. So you have both. And uh, now when you click on it, you get the typewriter sound. So that would be the default sound we get. And so we're ready to go. I'm going to show you now. I'm going to fire up. Uh, once you finish, just close it up. I'm going to fire up my uh, mail client so we can send the message out. And you see how it sounds. I got the mail client ready. And I'm going to go ahead and write an email. 
and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and write it to myself so that way it's ready to go and we're just gonna do a quick little thing here and put test email and I'm gonna go ahead and send it and I would get that same sound now I should get the default sound so it's that easy now you have your typewriter sound it could be any type of sound that you like uh, that you could use for your outgoing um, this is a perfect way to do this and just remember if you need to go back to it just open the C drive go to applications go to mail right click to show the package contents go to contents and go to resources and as long as you remember where to go here you can go ahead and change anything you want here there's images you can modify uh, but I'm not going to go into that, but you can just modify basically here the sound if you want to put the original one Just delete the mail sent and rename the old one back to the original name. I hope this helped you out Thank you for watching as always. I appreciate it